Motherwell had not won at Fur Hill since January 1997. Piccolo clears that ball. Lawless. And Higginbotham. And Bannigan. It's good build up this from Partick Thistle. Nicely done here. The cutback for Lawless. And Partick Thistle are in front. And it was a wonderfully well worked goal. Bannigan to Doolan. Cragen with the cutback. And Lawless kept his cool to tuck that ball away. Higginbotham trying to shape the shot in towards Doolan. Headed away by Hamill, and then Lasley completes the clearance, only as far as Aaron Taylor Sinclair. Lawless again! Oh, what a flying save by Dan Twardzik. So nearly number two. McFadden brings it down brilliantly. Lasley breaking beyond McFadden, and Lasley has Motherwell level. The lead lasted only seven minutes. And it's Keith Lasley who gets his first goal for over a year. The genius of James McFadden strikes again. This is Vigers, opened up to Francis Angol. He's got help in the form of Hamill. Well, that's well done by Zane Francis Angle, chance to shoot! Motherwell are now ahead, six minutes after they equalised, and it's Zane Francis Angle who delights the travelling support. They didn't have far to come, and they must have been a little nervous when they went one down, but the response from Stuart McCall's side has been excellent, and it's Zane Francis Angle who has Motherwell ahead, tucking that one in at the near post. Thistle haven't won in their last eight games. They've only picked up two points since late October. Away by Taylor Sinclair. Anier using his strength. And then over the top, McFadden's in here. It could be 3-1 and is. Brilliantly finished off by James McFadden. The problems arose with the strength of Anier and then Piccolo couldn't stretch to clear the finish majestic from McFadden it's his first league goals since May quick throw, McFadden Scott Fox had to be alive there McFadden first time on the left foot, good stop Nicely done. Zane Francis Angol again. Who can he pick out in the middle? Well, Taylor Sinclair took a chance with that one. Worked out for him in the end. His pass, though, isn't accurate enough. Here's Lasley. And Ainsworth. It's 4-1 now. The man in red-hot form scores for the third week running. What a turnaround it's been from Motherwell. Taylor Sinclair's pass picked off by Lasley and then Lionel Ainsworth it was a great finish McFadden's header rattles the crossbar well he doesn't score too many headers can't remember the last in fairness Carswell in field now Vigers Piccolo, oh, Piccolo's in trouble here. It's John Sutton, the substitute. 5-1 Motherwell. John Sutton has his ninth goal of the season. But he's got Gabriel Piccolo to thank for that one. He took his eye off it. And that played the ball into Sutton's path. Motherwell's win at Aberdeen was big. This is even bigger. Ainsworth to make it six. Fox with a save. It comes out to McFadden. And he perhaps should have hit it first time. But that's just a long straight ball 
from Stephen McManus. But it's a very good save by Scott Fox. Subscribe now for free. Catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.